So welcome by Moco Video. I'm Stephanie Palomino and today we talk about health and our guest is Thomas Haug from MIMI. Um, what are the challenges in the development of MIMI you were facing so far? The development of MIMI Music is, has been quite um, difficult at the beginning because we didn't know if we, were, if we were a company in the lifestyle or in the health sector. But basically we figured out during our existence that we are in both fields. So you have two products. Right. So tell me more about the first app. So the first app is called Mimi Hearing Test. And it's a hearing test inside your smartphone that allows you to take a hearing test that is as accurate as the one that you take at the doctors. Okay, and then for what I need the second app? The first app creates the awareness among the population that uses our app that there, that there is a problem called hearing loss. The second app allows you to listen to sound and music based on the hearing capabilities that we have taken from the hearing test. So what are you really proud of by Mimi? Uh, we are really proud of the feedback that we get from our users. Um, users that, for instance, haven't been able to fully enjoy their music due to their hearing problems. And now they can listen to music again as if they were young. So what is it by Mimi in the moment the biggest challenge you face? Right now the biggest challenge is to understand how we can get users that want to stick to our um, app. So the question is how to create retention. So what is your biggest challenge in the moment? At the moment the biggest challenge to me is try to position Mimi Music inside the uh, healthcare market. Thank you so much for your time and explaining us more about Mimi. So thank you guys for listening. When you like what you have seen, subscribe our YouTube channel and see you soon.